Hello friends, today in this video we are going to discuss about the Ramachandan plot. So here in this video we are going to easily know about the Ramachandan plot, the concept of Ramachandan plot in easy way. So what is Ramachandan plot? Why we should know about this Ramachandan plot and how we can explain it easily. Okay, so all of this we will discuss in this video and what is the relation between the bond angles of different bond angles of proteins with this Ramachandran plot and thus and how we can get any idea about the secondary structure of a protein from this Ramachandran plot. So all we will discuss here one by one. So at first we should know what is Ramachandran plot. So Ramachandran plot if we can say in easy way that is Ramachandran plot is a plot. Plot means uh, in a graph we plotted some values okay so here in this plot ramachandran plot is also a plot where we put a value of proteins bond angles so some bond angles that is two bond angles that is phi sorry that is phi and psi these two bond angles we will put here in this plot here and uh, that is the permitted the so the ramachandran plot is the permitted value of phi bond and psi bond of a peptide chain or in a protein plotted here is known as the Ramachandran plot and from this plot or from this value we get a idea about the protein secondary structure that means different bond angles different bond angles different bond angle values of phi and psi denote different protein secondary structure so from this plot we will get when we will get uh, when at what value of phi and psi we will get what secondary structure of protein we will discuss here so let's discuss so suppose here we take three amino acid and from this three from uh, between uh, among this three amino acid the peptide bond will form and they form a peptide chain so here the peptide bond is the conh group this group is the peptide bond and this is the peptide bond between CO and NH. Okay, and this peptide bond has a partial double bond character. That means here C double O, C double O, uh, C double O and also it can form C double bond N. So here a partial double bond can be raised because of resonance and because of this partial double bond character of this peptide bond this peptide bond is a rigid structure that means no rotation no rotation allowed in this bond around this bond no rotation allowed it is the rotation is restricted okay and its configuration is mostly in transposition that is 180 degree angle okay here like this in this configuration they available co and nh their bond the bond conformation is in transposition okay and this peptide bond is denoted as omega so this is we know that this peptide bond is rigid there is no rotation available in this peptide bond but adjacent to this peptide bond these bonds can rotate these bonds can rotate around this peptide bond okay so one bond which is attached to this carbon of the peptide bond which is C alpha C which is denoted as psi. So here we can remember it as C alpha C for psi and the uh, and the bond attached to the nitrogen of the peptide bond is the N C alpha it is known as phi okay so <clears throat> depending or depending on this on the value of phi and psi the protein secondary structure will differ if the phi value and psi value differ the protein proteins uh, secondary structure will also differ that means depending on the phi value and psi value it can be alpha helix or it can be beta sheet or it it can be beta sheet or it can be alpha helix or it can be a simple turn okay so depending on their on the value of phi bond phi bond angle and psi bond angle their rotation depending on their rotation the secondary structure will vary okay so how it vary we will see in the Ramachandran plot so here the and the bond uh, bond angle bond angles can be 
minus 80 to plus 80. The bond angle value of pi and psi is minus 80 to plus 80. But all the bond angles is not uh, allowed for allowed for this protein structure because here a steady clash will there because of this side chain because all bonds are all rotations are not possible because of this side chain so all bond angles are not allowed for secondary structure of protein so which so here the here we plotted the phi value and here the psi value and it is the minus this part is the minus phi value and this part is the plus phi value and this part is the plus psi value and this part is the plus psi value sorry minus psi value so here this four quadrant is there so here the white regions white regions represent the non favorable or non allowed region of phi and psi because here the steady clashes are there between the side chains of side chain of amino acids and with the uh, peptide bonds okay <clears throat> and the red regions red region represent the less allowed region so here steric steric clashes are low so here the bond angles or the or the secondary structure possible but in less but the uh, black regions are the most allowed region where the secondary structure can form here a black region and here a black region is there so this black region is for alpha uh, right handed alpha helix and this black region is for uh, beta sheet where the uh, parallel and anti parallel beta sheets are there in this bond angles of phi and psi okay and here the left handed alpha helix are there okay so here we put it we put this value of five bond angles that is psi and phi and for this values which secondary structure will favor here is mentioned here here so in exam some questions are arise that is if suppose a question is there uh, if you have you have a protein which have the negative psi value and positive phi value sorry uh, which have phi value is negative whose proteins phi value is negative but psi value is positive so we what kind of secondary structure it will favor there so we have to say that beta sheet will favor there or allowed there but if uh, the question is if a protein has a phi minus negative uh, phi value and negative psi value then what type of secondary structure will favor there there the right handed alpha helix will be favored okay so in this way from the phi value and psi value from the phi value and psi value of the uh, amino acid chain or peptide chain or protein we can get a secondary structure of any protein okay so from this ramachandran plot we will get the secondary structure of protein from this from the plot of psi values and phi values okay thank you for watching this video